Welcome to my channel Kamal Sidhu. In today's lecture session, we will discuss the counseling process. We will discuss its benefits, types of counseling, various features of counseling. So do subscribe to my channel for easy and simple lecture sessions related to BBA, BCom, MBA and MCom. We can define counseling as an activity of a counselor or a professional who counsel people especially on uh, personal problems and difficulties with the main aim of helping a person or a employee to learn more about self. So it is a process by means of which the counselor expresses care and concern towards the person uh, with a problem and facilitates that person's personal growth and brings about change through self-knowledge. So we can also say that counseling is basically a relationship between a concerned person and a person with a need. So this relationship is usually person to person, although sometimes it may involve more than two people. The main purpose of counseling is to help the people to understand and clarify their views and to learn how to reach their self-determined goals. So we can say that the aims of counseling depend on the situation and the environment and on training. So the basic uh, aims of counseling include to help an individual to gain an insight into the origins and development of uh, emotional or uh, any kind of psychological difficulties, then to assist the client to move in the direction of fulfilling their potential or we can say to achieve an integration of conflicting elements within themselves. Then it also uh, provide the clients with the skills, awareness, knowledge, which will enable them to confront social inadequacy. So these are the main features of counseling. So it is a face to face relationship with the person. The relationship is between a counselor and his client. Then uh, counseling is a conversation with someone regar regarding uh, some problem. So counseling helps to solve the problem which the client is facing. The counselor explores the problem and its importance through his skillful questioning. He draws out the facts from the clients through counseling process. This process helps the client in making selections and following those selections. Then counseling involves interactions in which the counselor accepts the responsibility of a positive contribution in the development of a person's personality. Then counseling we can say is a learning oriented process and is democratic in nature. Then counseling is a professional service and a problem oriented process. Counseling is a very broad category that helps the clients in variety of ways depending upon the type of counseling. So the first one is individual counseling which is one on one counseling process. So the main process of this type of counseling is self discovery and uh, overcoming their problems where a person who works out his issues under the guidance of an expert. So individual counseling is uh, very popular because it provides the setting for the client in which uh, he can talk openly about his problems can disclose his feelings without any without any kind of fear so the individual counseling also helps the clients to discuss issues which they may not be comfortable in discussing with the others then is the career counseling which is for both the students who are about to decide about their careers and the professionals to guide them on their professional growth and uh, future. So it is mainly an assessment of their strengths and disco discovering where their uh, actual interests lie. So we can say that career counseling generally takes place in a high school setting or could also involve help in selection of colleges to best suit the students needs and requirements. However, it could be for professionals who want to switch their careers or want to learn how to make progress in their career, which they have already chosen. 
then is the educational counseling so as we know that academics are one of the biggest reasons of stress in students and parents so academic counseling is a counseling pertaining to time management and various study tips now let's also define a term counselor so counselor is a person whose job is to give advice to his clients so the counselor plays a very important role in solving the problems faced by his clients the problems can be related to his personal life or uh, business related issues so the uh, counselor must have following skills the first one is attitude skills so the success of a counseling is largely depend upon the attitude of the counselor the counselor must have positive attitude he must ready to help the client to understand and solve the difficulties which he is facing then is the listening skills so effective listening is another important uh, skill of a counselor he must be able to respond to the client in such a way that he feels understood so we can say that listening skills are important part of good communication process then similarly verbal communication is also important it is very important to note that if uh, inappropriate vocabulary is used the counseling process is affected even uh, common words can be misunderstood misunderstood due to multiple meanings they carry so the counselor should have these three skills in order to successfully solve the problems which are faced by his clients the process of counseling is very simple so as we know that counseling process is a planned and a structured dialogue between a client and the counselor so the first step in is the relationship building which mainly focuses on counselor engaging with the client to explore the issues that directly affect them the counselor focuses on building a positive relationship with the client at this stage then the second step is problem assessment so the counselor carefully listens to the client and draws out the information from uh, this conversation then effective counseling relies on setting appropriate and realistic goals based on the information that is gathered at the second stage or the second step the goals must be identified and developed with the proper participation of the client then the fourth step is the counseling intervention which differ from client to client at this stage various activities are designed to alter the client's behavior and then comes the last step that is uh, of evaluation the counseling process should end on a positive note the client should feel satisfied and his change in behavior should be evaluated so the counseling is a five step process as shown in the figure so before ending this lecture session let's uh, discuss the benefits of counseling so counseling process is very beneficial for both employee as well as for the organization counseling plays a very important role in setting the goals as the employees and the managers sit, sit together to address various employee issues the counseling also enables the alignment of employee goals with the organizational goals this also boosts the employees confidence and improves their productivity then the managers can also detect the training detect or identify the training needs of the employees through counseling process as the employees freely shares their issues their grievances and problems during the counseling process with employee grievances fully address the stress level in employee also reduces through counseling the counseling also encourages an open door policy where every employee is free to discuss his grievances with the authority we can conclude that counseling creates a good working environment where the employees can collectively work for attaining the common organization goals so this was all in today's lecture session